The Buffalo Bills Center of the West has many of the great masterpieces of Western American art. But the museum is uniquely located in a fairly remote place, Cody, Wyoming. Close to 200,000 people annually see the artwork in person. So when you are in rooms with them, if you tune yourself in, you can feel that. And that's one of the most powerful feelings that I've felt in my life. And we want to share the, our collections outwardly to increase our reach, to share the spirit more broadly, um, and also just to celebrate what we have here. We've got such a great collection. Remington, Russell, uh, those are paintings that we don't even, I can't think of a single place in Utah that you can go to see a Russell or a Remington. There are no collections here. And so if you take these outside of Wyoming, um, I think people, there's an allure. There's a, always a continued allure uh, to the American West and to see these paintings in, in real life. The Go West exhibition first left the walls of the museum back in 2013 to the High Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. Since then, it has traveled to three different locations, Omaha, Nebraska, Palm Springs, California, and lastly, Salt Lake City, Utah. So the exhibition is actually um, broadly focused on the 100 years surrounding the turn of the century. So from 1830 to 1930, we have brought together some 85 works of art created by both Euro-American artists and Plains Indian artists that help tell the story of westward expansion into the region um, in which we all live here. The story of this exhibition is how it connects with the communities where it is shown. Currently, Go West is at its last location, and from the opening in December to the closing in March, the exhibition hasn't been a static installation. The citywide programming that has been developed is really unusual for, for us at least, um, and it allows, uh, allows two cities that are, are like-minded um, and have uh, such passionate um, residents to come together to think about the West in a very interdisciplinary fashion um, and to engage our visitors um, through a number of different ways. Through free academic lectures, film screenings, and special events like the Utah Symphony's production of High Noon, the exhibition's wide-ranging program makes an effort to hone in on pertinent themes and ideas, which will resonate with the community where it is shown. Seeing this kind of art fills in the picture more of, of our identity, so without being <laughs> too philosophical about it, I, I think it's an important part of discovering who we are as, as people and as Americans. But as a Western. There's also scholars and members and people from Cody that see the West in the broad sense uh, as we do, but they also understand that it's a story that can be told in many different ways in many different geographical settings. I think of its mission. I truly feel that Utah has a lot to learn from, from Cody on how we can make our history much more accessible. This is exactly the mission of the center, to keep the spirit of the American West alive and grapple with its myths and realities. When does the West end? Does it end when you reach the West Coast? Or is it an idea? And I think he was convincing that it is a state of mind that is uniquely American. Go West will close its doors in March as the artworks need some time to rest. But this five-year stint will not be the last of the like. The success of the exhibition within these communities sparks new efforts to keep the spirit of the American West alive.